all of these fans, all of your fans are popping up on my screen, Isaac. So Isaac is um, the He's owner of <laughs> Outstanding Care Homes, right? He's a phenomenal guy, all, also um, an Amazon bestseller. So Isaac, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a bit about yourself? Um, I, uh, I am a care home consultant. Uh, I'm, my background is care, uh, I'm a nurse. Uh, I started from the very uh, bottom of the career ladder and uh, uh, operated one of the best care homes in the country in 2018, uh, which was rated as outstanding in all the domains. Uh, since then, I have uh, I left my job, started con consultancy, uh, helping care homes to improve the quality of care, uh, which I'm really passionate about. Uh, and... Yeah, I have worked with over 100 care homes now, audited, detailed audit so far. 100 care homes? More than 100, yes. Wow, that's amazing, right? And outstanding should be your middle name as well, right? Because you're an outstanding guy. <laughs> Such a pleasure to work with. So, Isaac, like, what got you um, What got you into like consulting for care homes? What, what was that transition for you? When did that happen? Uh I think, uh, I mean, you know, achieving outstanding in all the domains for Care Quality Commission is uh, done by only very limited number of care homes. Uh, during that time, I think uh, we were the fifth care home in the country out of 15,000 to get that rating. And uh, then I realized that, you know, uh, I should do something bigger and I should be helping more people and my skills would be more valuable. Uh, hence, uh, hence started the consultancy, you know, there's no financial backup, there's no, there's no strategy, just jumped into it. Uh, yeah, I had my first paying client, 500 pounds, doing a mock inspection. I was happy. When, when did you start your business, um, Isaac, like Outstanding Cairns? When, when did you form that? When did you start trading? 2018, uh, April. <clears throat> when did we meet? Was it 2019 or 20? 20 during uh, I think just about starting of COVID right time That's to meet you yeah what a time right <laughs> so so Isaac tell me what like what made you want to work with me you know when we started working together what kind of drew you to um, being coached by me tell me a bit about that uh, I think <clears throat> uh, I came across your Facebook ad and then I was so interested to see in you know, so something strike me uh, about uh, reading your advert, and then I checked your profile. Uh, I left my number, and uh, usually when I leave numbers to somebody, uh, you know, I'm very cautious about leaving my number. And then uh, I got a call from you, and uh, uh, I still cannot forget that call uh, still because. Uh, <laughs> you know that that was that was I think one call we just I made a decision that I want to work with you. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I felt a bit of confidence in you. I would say, uh, but uh, that was one of the best decisions in my life. I would say. Yeah, well, you know what? I remember when you when you started up your online business, right? I remember like you went from zero startup right to forty k within was it fourteen days or something. Yes, yes. We, we hit, uh, during the time of COVID, we hit uh, like 100,000 during that time. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think, you, I think it launched it. You went from zero to 40K, wasn't it, in 14 days, yeah. in two weeks, wasn't it? That yeah. was crazy, right? Like, to, from zero, guys and girls, think about it. You, you're launching a business, right? You, 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 it's an idea that you had, right? And you just took action. You said, I want to do this. I said, well, go for it. And you had everything up and running quick, didn't you? And yes. all of a sudden, you just like flocked to 40K, then you went... And it just spun off from there, didn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. So so what is it that you do for like care homes? Like when you go in, do you help turn them around? Are they not running properly? Or um, what, what's the situation there? Uh, usually, uh, yeah, uh, uh, two, two groups of clients. One uh, who are at the stage of risk of closure and they're not in good terms with the regulators. Uh, the other aspect is people or care homes who wants to uh, be successful and take them to the next level. So uh, that's the two part of the uh, consultancy that I do. Uh, yeah. 
because you put your own program together all didn't you like you had a program when you, you had an idea right so you put that together how was that putting your own coaching program together for you uh, when we I first think, discussed it no uh, i wish i should have done it early uh, uh still early stage uh, but uh, uh it's going very well i have uh, 10 clients so far uh and the next batch is starting next friday uh so yeah uh slowly building up it's uh, the reputation is going up. Yeah, you've got a great reputation in the in the industry, right? So, Isaac, tell me how important would you say mindset is to business? Tell me that. Uh, I think uh, yeah, probably 90 percent is mindset. You know, the ten percent is knowledge and skill set. I think I had uh, experience. I had knowledge. Uh, but uh, there was something pulling me back all the time. I think the time since I worked with you, uh, that's a different level game now. So you, you said only 10% is like knowledge, right? Yes. This is, this is crazy, right? Most people put it down the other way around, right? Most people say, oh, you've got to have all the knowledge and all that. It's only like, you know, don't put any importance to the mindset side of things. And again, you acknowledge that there was things holding you back. And it's, it's kind of crazy because it's like paralyzing you, right? You want to move forward. You've got all of these crazy ideas, good ideas, and yet you can't pull the trigger. It's like going to a gunfight. You can't draw out your guns and like can't pull the trigger, right? Yeah. And so now, how do you feel now, like on in, in within yourself, within the confidence that you have? And, you know, when you look at going to the next level, when you look at business growth, how do you feel now with yourself? Uh, maybe it's uh, life is so different. <laughs> life is so different i think uh, the confidence in myself the routine the actions the uh the tasks you asked us to do uh every morning and you know the action plan uh, i still continue that every day uh and that gives a powerful feeling when we start the day itself and now i also uh have you know because of that effect in me i also do the uh, you know, input that coaching into my coaching as well. So which is creating a lot of big difference to the people working in care homes, the people leading the care homes. So it's uh, one having an influence in myself. And then now I'm able to influence other people, you know, uh, sharing the same knowledge with them to build their game as well. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's great. It's amazing. Uh, not afraid of, uh, money not afraid of people not afraid of risk now yeah just do it <laughs> yeah because when we first met you was a very analytical person weren't you you were very calculated right you was um you know one step at a time kind of thing you know but now you've you you use your imagination right you're tapping into the universe right and yes. now you mentioned about money not not worrying about money you fear about money right so how 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 are you around the kind of the money now do you enjoy the money the energy of money do you understand it better <laughs> yes i do i think it comes to you when we need it all we have to do is take action and believe that it's going to happen and feel as if like it's happening now you know that's that's the different wavelength yeah now i mean i see your confidence has grown so much i mean i've seen the videos that you do so when, when we first started working together where would you kind of rate your confidence back then compared to where you are today I would say if it if it's a zero to ten scale, I would say three. Maybe. It was three. Yep. Yeah. And where is it now? Come on, twenty. <laughs> I think. I mean, I I don't naturally look like a very overconfident person, uh, but uh, in myself, I can feel the confidence. Uh, I'm not showing aggressive confidence to other people, but that's not my personality anyway. But yeah, uh, they. The inner feeling of confidence is amazing. It's a great feel. That's great that you picked up on that because a lot of people, they put on a show on the outside, you know, like you said, the aggressive confidence, um, where um, where you're saying that you've got your calm, you're collected, and you're, you're so confident in what you're doing, right? You, that's, you've got a calm, very calm personality. Um, with myself, I'm, I'm more of like a kind of a aggressive, like, beast, <laughs> right? I'm very fiery, right? Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so again, like uh, you, you're you're so calm and you're confident. That's what I love about you. Um, watching you grow, watching your business grow, and seeing the people that you help. And I always see like people's comments about you as well about your service, how you're providing service. And I've referred clients to you as well, right? And um, 
I've had nothing but good feedback. And you're just a just a really likable guy and um, such a humble person. Um, you you're just out to help people. It helps you better people's lives, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. that must give you such a sense of satisfaction at night when you go to bed, knowing that you're helping these care homes achieve outstanding um, results, right? It, it's a great feel. You know, it it adds value to my life. Uh, the the purpose of life. It, it it's very exciting you know currently i am turning around a inadequate care home at the moment which was supposed to be closed down a couple of weeks back so i am in actually in devon now okay so that's amazing like the, it's supposed to be closed down a couple of weeks ago but look at the disruption that would cause for the for the um the patients in there right the residents yeah. in there yeah and how many residents does this one have is it a big one it's a 11 you know it's a 30 bedded one, but they have only 11 residents at the moment. But there's still like 11 people that's going to have to be re- relocated, right? And disruption to their routines and stuff. And, you know, are these mainly elderly people, are they? That you're dealing yeah, elderly with? people, yeah. And and the staff as well. People will lose jobs. Yeah, so you play your fundamental role, right, in, in the survival of care homes, right? Not just the, that one, but up and down the country, right? Yep, yeah, yeah. I have worked with many situations like this, yes. Wow, so you you have the top was it top five top five in the UK care that you worked with? Uh, sorry, the, the top five you said you worked with one of the top five in the UK care homes. No, uh, did I say that? No, I mean, no. I, earlier on, you, you mentioned like you was working with uh, like a high 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 end one, um, someone that's really performing really high. Oh, I mean the uh, five outstanding, you know that in all the domains is very rare. Yeah. So that happened during when I was the manager of a care home. So right. still, I think uh, uh, achieving that accreditation is uh, less than 10 care homes or 15 maximum. In the UK? Yeah, in the UK. That is solid, right? Yeah. So Isaac, how, how important is it, right, for any business owner at any stage <clears throat> to have a, a coach and mentor? How impo- how, what's the importance of that? Where would you rate that? Uh, I personally did MBA, uh, you know, I, I, I did MBA, I did a diploma in leadership and management. Uh, yes, it did give me the background knowledge and everything. But uh, if I had a coach like yourself, uh, before doing MBA, uh, that would have been phenomenal. Yeah, better late than never, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's your experience. I think uh, you're the you're the living book, you know. So when when someone is, you know, it's very unique to you, and my experience is very unique to me as well. And when you pass on that knowledge to, you know, uh, whatever it co- it may have a cost on it, but the results that it gives or shortens your risk, you know, it's is amazing. Yeah, because the, the cost is, it's irrelevant, isn't it? If you think about it, like you make an investment in yourself and that's with you for the rest of your life. And right? no matter which business you go into, what I give you is yours. You know, I hand it down to you and yeah, you will use yeah. it in many different ways, not just in your business life, uh, just also in your personal life, how, how you are as a father, how's you, as a husband, as a friend, uh, you know, so it helps you grow in all areas, right? It's not just about money. You know, people say, well, you're just about the money. No, uh, you know, we show you how to, growing more areas right i mean uh, definitely uh it has influenced my family life uh and how i view things about my little ones as well uh so it, maybe i can you know uh, it, it's it was phenomenal i think uh, the 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 knowledge and wisdom that you shared you know i practice this still every day uh and it it gives me a lot of energy to do more things in life yeah, because we're not we're not born to settle, right? We we um we've got to keep on stretching. You know, every day, every month, we've got to keep on like growing forwards. We don't get stagnant. We don't just say, "All right, we I'm here." Most business owners do that, right? They hit a level and they kind of stagnant. They don't know what to do to move forward. They don't believe they can move forward, and a lot of the time, they're not willing to um, invest in themselves. Not willing to take action. Get uncomfortable. Where we have to keep on growing, right? If we like progress equals happiness, right? So if we're, if we're not making progress, we're not going to be happy. And this is why you see so many people that are in business, they're at their flat line, they can't move forward, and they're going backwards. If you're not, like Bob Proctor said, if you're not, if you're not growing, you're dying. 
there's no in between because if you're not progress if you're not going forward you're dying you're going backwards and i think that's a really powerful lesson that you know we've got to keep on evaluating where we are right now and i know right now next year this time you'll be doing bigger things than you are now and you'll keep on progressing keep on growing right definitely you know i'm i'm building foundations for bigger bigger things yes so isaac what advice would you give to someone right yeah that's watching now right maybe they're thinking about working with me and they're not too sure maybe they've been watching me for a little while um watching all of my interviews and stuff what advice would you give that person uh i think I'd definitely go for it i think when i signed up with you i didn't have much savings uh but when i look look at back now uh you know i can easily make that money with just two clients uh so it's uh it's you know it, it's phenomenal i think it's not just the money like you said it's the how you view your view the life and how the bigger things in life i think uh it, it was amazing i think uh, just go for it there's nothing to doubt about it it's uh, uh i think doubt is just in your mind you know it's just for mm-hmm. what mean to say yeah that's great it's great advice um another question for you so like in terms of like pricing your services now yeah. are you more yeah. confident in charging like a real price that you were you you were the of right because sometimes i know people can like not <clears throat> try to justify their price to themselves where you know you're worth way more yeah. and i believe that you're charging the price that you're worth now right you believe that you're worth uh i uh you know when when started working with you it uh, i was always afraid to ask money uh, and i was uh, uh you know i was not confident in myself although my service i know that you know that's going to make them uh, feel uh, you know make them successful uh i didn't realize how i should be pricing and all those sort of things but i mainly that there was a mindset limit myself so if i ask uh, 1000 or 2000 uh the client would definitely give anyway uh but now i can choose my clients so i i i choose the clients that i want to work with and i say no to a lot of them and your price right you choose your clients and your price and my price as well yes well that's really powerful isn't it because you you're an expert right you're yeah. an expert in your industry so you you should be compensated for an expert at yeah. your level because yeah. yeah. you're not yeah. someone that's entry level right just face it You, yep, you're yep. one of the top in the UK, if not the top, right? Yep, and yep. Uh, and so you've got it's got to reflect in that, right? And that all comes down when we look at our how we price things. It all comes down to our self image, right? We taught you about self image, and yep. uh, and you know what you you know you're obviously you're doing a good job. You know they're going to get an outstanding result. You know that you deliver a hundred percent. And now yep. you've got to now you've matched up with like your self worth in terms of what you know and believe that you're worth uh, for in terms of compensation, right? Yeah. Yep. I think and uh, more than that I'm uh, able to solve bigger problems. <clears throat> so like you mention every time you know when you solve bigger problems you'll get those similar value in return. Yeah. And that must give you a load of confidence right knowing that you can go into any situation right where you think you know just give me the situation I'm going to deal with it and you know you've got a solution before you even know you've got a solution yep. because you have that belief in yourself right? That's true. That's true. It's and, it- it's bloody awesome <laughs> <laughs> i love that yeah so you you're going into a situation yeah. you don't know the how you're going to resolve it but you know you are going to yes and you go in it with confidence right and you just you you just so confident with yourself i have this myself when i have a challenge where it's one of my clients or somebody tells me i want to do this somebody do that i'm like yeah let's do it and i know that the answers are going to flow to me i know that you know like bob says um knowledge is equally present at all times we just tap into the universe and you know we'll we'll be guided um, to the solution right it's phenomenal yeah i just i just love the way you are now compared to like when we first started out just like worlds apart now you know you were a smart guy but you're so calm and 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 you're a great student isaac that's what i love about you you've got a great attitude a really good attitude and you've never been like one to complain this is what i want you to do isaac okay i'll do it you know that's, that's that's phenomenal but listen Isaac I want to really thank you to say like for taking time we've been trying to do this for about a year now we've been trying to track you down you're, you're such a busy dude right and uh, so um I didn't think we we're going to make it today <laughs> no any any time for Mindy any time for Mindy yeah I think uh, yeah yeah it's amazing I think something that I realized was you know what's the worst thing that can happen in your life it's uh, it's death isn't it so 
if you're not afraid of death you, you can just do anything you want in life in this earth yeah i mean uh, you probably heard that we lost bob proctor this week right yes yeah yeah and that is a sad time so we were just coming to terms with that and that was just a shocker um, i was actually on a sales call the other day when i one of my clients me- messaged me that have you heard about bob i'm like what i didn't even know nothing and i had to cut the call short because it's taken back and you know i'm so grateful to bob um for for giving us this information and like yourself you know you're going to take it to you know your clients and stuff and it's going to make an impact um an everlasting impact right that's right yes yeah so isaac listen i want to thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for like sharing your journey with us and um it's always a pleasure to catch up with you and learn about your successes and, and the growth in your business. And mm-hmm. so we wish you continued success. Yeah, definitely. Yes. More on its way. Yeah, good. So you take care, Isaac, right? Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.